So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are talking about a very interesting image generation model that has been recently open sourced by Black Forest team that is Flux.1 context dev. So if you remember Flux is the same open source image generation model that took the world by storm and now its new version has come up Flux.1 context dev. Pro was also released but Pro was not open sourced but Flux.1 context is open sourced and it is of chat GPT's capability. So if you look at chat GPT's image creation it is of similar capabilities and now it's completely open source. So before we jump on to the details of the model let's try out the model for free on Hugging Face Spaces and notice some of its attributes. So it can even edit images also so let me try out something with my friend's image. Enter a prompt for editing. Remove specs from the image. Change the t shirt color to green. Let's try running this. As you can see, it's quite fast. It is 12 billion parameter model. And as said, it's the only open source model from the Flux.1 context series. So there are three models one is Pro, Max, and Dev and dev is open source for all weights are present on hugging face that we'll be seeing in short so as you can see the inference time is also quite decent about 30 seconds it is able to remove the specs and make the t-shirt green that's quite crazy now let's try out something else let's try out the cover of my new book that is model context protocol advanced agents for beginners let's try changing certain things here also change the central image to a woman change the background to grid and change the name of authors to john wilson let's see what it does i have tested it out on text writing also and it is quite decent not as great as gpt but it's quite good to be honest and even in terms of writing text on images you can use it so this is a complicated image let's see what it outputs out of it and then we'll be jumping on to the details of the model shortly as you can see there's certain advanced setting also it can be used for generating images as well and also for editing so here you can see that some text has got blurred here model context protocol so in terms of text it is still improving i would say not that good okay fine no worries it is not able to change the name of the author also it has removed the author completely fine let's move on to the weights let's see what does flux.1 context have in its kitty so as you can see on my screen Flux.1 context dev is a new model by Black Forest Labs and it is trending on hugging face. Here are certain examples that the team has mentioned, removing the objects, changing objects, doing everything. And here is a free inference provider also, so you can use it for free also on hugging face spaces or using together AI. There are certain key features that I would be telling you through a slide, but let's move on to the weights of the model. So if you see here, the model is quite big 24 gb and i was trying to run it on 4090 but failed and hence <laughs> we use the free version so now let's try to understand its different details flux.1 context dev as already mentioned the pro version was released a few months back chat gpt image generation as we all know took the world by storm people were creating ghiblis and all but it is paid right and no other open source model has come close to chat gpt's image generation but now we have a competitor that is flux.1 context dev what is flux.1 context it is not your top uh, typical prompt in picture out just you give a prompt it generates an image it can edit images also iterate and understand edit existing images support iterative changes you can bring in multiple changes in steps and it will be able to do that and maintain character consistency as we saw in the image for my friends the flux.1 context lineup 
pro model is paid context max is experimental and context def has been released so we are more interested into that the 12 billion parameter model open weights compatible with diffusers yes you heard it right the hugging face team has also released the codes so in the page that i was showing you beneath you can see some simple codes also to run flux context dev image editing via text like make it snow in the photo multiple edits without losing original style as you can see here you can ask for like changing the text changing everything and let's keep the style the same contextual awareness and object and character retention unmatched performance i think in terms of the benchmarks that the team has released it's quite great it is beating out gpt model as well so it's hash one and character preservation that is character consistency text editing and insertion also it is quite great as mentioned i think we just checked it out it was not that good but okay fine style transfer and reference and instruction editing also the model is quite good and worth trying out to be honest why it stands out it's open source that's why to be honest it's compatible with comfy ui diffusers github replicate file.ai everything minimal visual drift so as you can read here efficient training by mimicking a stronger teacher model for better performance and maintain style and structure even across multiple edits so if, even if you go for five to ten rounds of edit the style should remain almost the same certain limitations that the team has mentioned that it finds certain challenges in prompt following multiple as you increase the iterativeness the styling will lose out that's quite obvious world knowledge is a little less as you can see needs improvement and fine details it is performing medium safety and responsible ai also they haven't just released a model they have done something else also they have released a full safety stack as well so the safety measures taken are saw filtering during training fine tune mitigation third party risk evaluation has also been done and real time content filtering is done the future is open source and now we have a great model flux point one context for image generation i hope everyone tries it out and let me know in the comment section thank you so much